Hello everyone, I'm going to do an update of the drum carter that I've been working on. This is an updated prototype from a few weeks ago when I showed one. The main changes is uh, this week I'm going to be showing this clamp which holds it firmly in place. This was actually there last week, I just didn't talk about it at all. Another change that I've made, and we'll show this in a little bit when we're showing it running, but I've redone the main drive belt, and before this was a round belt, now it's a timing belt, and I put a tensioner on there. This is working great. Uh, you can, I mean, the biggest issue left is the belt itself is kind of <laughs> hacked together here a little bit, so there's a little clicking when that part goes around it one of the pulleys, but other than that, it's working really well. The motor is very strong and I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Last time it was just a problem with the pulley slipping. We'll talk about that when we're running it a little bit. And let's see what else. The uh, handle, which can quickly be attached right there. So you can have the motored version or the handle version. Although this week we're gonna be focusing more on the motored version because with the new drive belt, uh, that's working much better. One of the issues we had last week was just due to my inexperience with drum carters. Uh, we were using this brush in this direction, which is incorrect. We should have been combing in this direction and it will be done that way in the future. And I'll make sure I have guides about how to best use a drum carter when I get it out there, just like I do with e-spinners. I think that in good instructions is a very important part of these fiber tools. Another thing that I've realized is that this brush last week, one of the reasons it wasn't working very well is just we didn't have it tightened. So I'll show you how that's tightened this week. So we and we won't make that same mistake, but you just do that. And then you kind of want to push it in pretty far. How far and how aggressive you want to be with that is sort of up to you, but you're definitely going to want it in some amount and that'll help push the fiber onto the drum. So enough with talk, let's get on to some carding. Maybe set a little faster. I don't know. Because it will have more power if you have it faster. Let it go. I'm probably going to make it go only slower in the future. I think I'm going to get a gearbox reduction. Will that just make it stronger and. Uh... Well, no, not reasonably. You'd have to go with a different gearbox. That's what's making all the noise. And it has a lot more power here. I can slow it down with my hand, but it's actually quite difficult to try to even stop it. So I'm much happier with how this drive belt is working. Why would it matter what way you go? Nope. Because it grips that way. So when you have it that way, the bristles are just less likely to grab. Can you make it so the is that? Put 
Can you slowly turn it on? Dun, dun, dun. Let's just open up this drawer to see how much vegetable matter we've caught. No, there's not much today. <laughs> 